Right, so Mr. Palmer here doing the page rank step through of the algorithm. Okay, so by the end of this video, you should know how the page rank algorithm is applied. Then you should be able to compare the uh, old, simpler way of trying to rank pages compared to page rank to see what the differences are. Okay, so this was the formula we looked at in a previous video where we discussed how the rank of a particular page uh, is basically ascertained by looking at the rank of all the pages that link to it and dividing that. Uh, rank of that page by the number of pages is linked to so it's share its rank is shared out equally among all the pages are linked to and then uh, a damping factor is applied to make sure that the rank that is shared out doesn't ca continue on forever but wears out after about six um, like generations so basically the click link uh, I'm on a page I click on a link click on a link click on a link following the links through and after about six click throughs uh, the weight of the original page is nullified okay because Google's algorithm, they're assuming that we would have stopped um, clicking through links by now and just done another search. Okay, so this is a web graph we're going to be using for um, this particular um, uh, step through the algorithm. Okay, so for example, if I'm doing a count of A, I'm going to get three because it's got one, two, three outbound links. Okay, and then um, we have also a term called backlink. Okay, so uh, is this the next one? Yep, here it is. So uh, page A links to C, but it also has an inbound link from C. So any inbound links are called backlinks in this algorithm. Okay. Now, um, we also discussed previously how the page rank of a particular page depends on the rank of the pages that depend on that page. All right. So um, in this case, A's rank is calculated by the inbound rank, splitting the inbound rank of C. But C's rank is uh, worked out by splitting the inbound rank of A. Okay, so we're applying this algorithm iteratively in order to work out the solution, all right? Now, when we start off, we don't actually know what the rank of any particular page is, okay? So we can just use some arbitrary numbers and then plug them into the formula and start applying it, and then we'll basically arrive at an estimate which is close to the actual rank of that page, okay? So when I'm kicking this algorithm off, I'm actually going to be starting off by assigning all my pages with a, a, a rank of 1, Okay, so in this case, D is 0 0.85 as uh, specified by uh, Google's original paper or Sergey Brin and Larry Page's original paper. All right, uh, the rank of C therefore is 1. The count of C was 3 because C is linked to 3 pages. So therefore in this case, uh, I can work it out and get a, a rank of uh, page A to be 0 0.43333. All right. Similarly, B has a rank or uh, is uh, the, the page rank of B is uh, worked out by looking at the rank of D. In this case, the rank of D is still 1, and I end up with uh, a page rank of 1 for B. Okay, so 0 0.85 times 1 plus 0 0.15 gives me rank of 1. Now, this is where uh, we start uh, using these pre-calculated values because the rank of C depends upon the rank of A. So this value of A that I've calculated, I can now plug into my formula and then work out that's the world's worst arrow work out what's going on okay and so you can see that uh, A has got three outward links so the rank of A is now divided by three to work out how much of my rank is being passed on to page C okay and I get uh, a rank for C and then similarly for D okay so D has got three pages coming in uh, sending links into it three backlinks okay um, and I can work out a rank for D and you can see D is quite highly ranked at the minute okay we still have this bloated figure for E because E hasn't been calculated yet and then we can also work out um, we, we've now basically gone through one iteration of the algorithm and I've got this kind of rank for each of my um, uh, pages so now basically what we're going to do is plug these numbers back into the um, algorithm and keep going on and on and on through this formula uh, until we end up uh, and you'll see that the numbers will start to settle okay so if I do apply the formula again for A I now end up with a rank of uh, 0 0.227 uh, similarly for B okay now B for the first time is having a rank an actual page rank put in uh, C gives me this D all right now you can see D has changed dramatically all right but watch what happens when we do the next call all right so this is what I th these are things over here where my outputs from um, my second call second iteration so I'm going to iterate a third time now you can see here a hasn't changed that significantly all right B now has a rank that looks quite different 
right C if you compare C here all right to the uh, value of C that we started off with hasn't changed that much all right D has changed all right E kind of the same not that much different and then when we call again all right now if you can start comparing these outputs from uh, this fourth iteration and you see 0 0.209 compared to 0 0.21 all right you can start to see how these values are starting to settle okay and we're ending up with an actual rank for the pages okay so when you look at this algor um, algorithm you can obviously see that by starting off by at one I kind of kind of ended up at um, these numbers down here I could have started off at a much higher number like 40 or 50 but obviously I would have had to go through a couple more iterations before I ended up at these numbers where, where it's starting to settle okay now if you just want to see that um, if you want to actually compare directly down you can see what happened we went from 0.433 recurring to 0.22 to 0.21 to 0.209 okay similarly you can see how uh, B has started to settle C has started to settle at 0.209 D is starting to settle at approximately 0 0.5, okay. E is settling at approximately 0 0.027, okay. So that's how the rank of those pages are being determined. All right. Now, if we compare those ranks to the actual personality test that I talked about in the last video, you can kind of see what's going on. All right. Page A has got too many outgoing links and nothing coming in. Therefore, all it's doing is it's just basically spreading its rank out. All right. So this is kind of like a link farm where you have a page that is just full of links to other pages. All right. And I'm guessing that Google probably has something in this algorithm that looks at um, num uh, at uh, pages that end up with really, really low ranks. And it just must assume that if they've, they have loads and loads of outgoing links, but no backlinks, then it must be a link farm. And then it just removes them from its ranking system. OK, so if we look at another page like C, C again has an incoming link. All right, but it has too many outgoing links, so it ends up with a low rank. All right, E has links coming in and links going out, but the links that it has coming in are from low rank pages, so therefore E itself ends up with a low rank. So it's like the, um, you have uh, A, and A is a bit like that guy that we said that uh, claims to know everybody but doesn't really know enough people, doesn't really know anybody, all right? So that those are all the outgoing links, okay? E, in this case, is has friends with people that aren't that highly rated, okay? D has lots of incoming links, therefore it must be a popular page, all right? So the assumption here is, is that D must be a page that has useful information on it. That's why other pages want to link to it, and that's why it ends up higher in the rankings, okay? Now, B has an incoming link from a highly ranked page, therefore its rank gets boosted all the way up. Okay, so if you were thinking about information, the way you can kind of imagine it is that these pages, A, C, and E, are obviously referencing page D, all right, um, because D has saying saying something important, but D is obviously referencing the source information, which must be on page B, okay? So therefore B goes up to the top because it must contain the original information that is being referenced on D that sites A, C, and E, pages A, C, and E are referring to. Okay, so you can kind of see how that that kind of ranking is um, is uh, being worked out. All right, so basically the rank of a web page in summary, this is it, all right, depends on the rank of all the pages that depend on that page because we're splitting uh, um, the ranks of a particular page out uh, amongst its linked pages, all right. And we're applying the algorithm until we set up for the pages. And then uh, the, a damping factor, remember, is used to nullify the, um, the rank after about six, click th uh, six um, follow throughs, all right, to stop um, the rank being passed on uh, infinitely through the system. Okay. Now, if we compare the old and the simple factors, all right, remember the old factors we were talking about um, HTML being used to identify content on the page. And therefore, the old simple factors would try to make, uh, try and analyze the HTML to work out what was on the page. And then, if you had the more tags and more keywords and more descriptive content descriptions you had, and the better the structure of the page in terms of using keywords and tiles, etc., the higher up in the rankings you would uh, become.
all right and so it was all about having algorithms that could figure out what keywords are and then find keywords on the page all right with page rank it's, it's different because what we're saying is it's about the popularity of the information that you have on your page all right so therefore the more pages that are linking to you the more important the information that you have on your page must be so therefore the higher up the ranks you should go and if you are uh, an established page then you will be you will have a higher rank than a newer page okay they will weight your ranking and similarly if you've got too many outgoing links all right you're gonna go lower down the ranks because uh, basically you are just citing other content that is somewhere else yeah now in a nutshell if you're trying to compare the two you're basically trying to say that the old factors try to rank a page by looking at the content whereas page rank ranks a page on how important other pages think that actual page is yeah so um, here's something interesting the actual average of all pages should be equal to the number of pages so in the example that we were looking at B basically wasn't passing on its rank okay it was just it was hogging the rank that D because remember D was quite highly ranked because lots of pages linked to it all right and D was referencing passing on all of its rank to B because it only had one um, outgoing link all right so uh, but B was then just holding on to its really weighty rank so what happens actually if you um, add another arrow in and you are linking B to A all right finally oh I've got a bit of a typo on here what happens if E doesn't have any incoming uh, links but only one outgoing link to D all right because we I want to if you work out what happens there and then let's talk about that in class as well all right so you should basically be able to say say how the page rank algorithm is applied and then um, by understanding how it's applied you should be able to uh, compare it quite um, in a lot of detail to the uh, traditional methods of um, uh, ranking pages okay and that's it from me on page rank let's try and kill this video